Good evening, welcome back to Trey's Tabletop Cross Rip. I'm Trey, screen name Ghostbuster LMII. Back with another unboxing. I believe we're now up to episode 21. So here we've got um, Don't Go In There by Road to Infamy. And this is one of the more recent, I guess, uh, successful kind of Kickstarter stories in the sense of that the campaign was run last fall. Um, I believe it, it closed in October of last year. The original ETA on this game was August of 2022. And here we are at the beginning of August 2022, and I have the game in my hand. So that is, at least for the, the things that I've backed on Kickstarter, that is a rare occurrence for them to actually hit the delivery date so, so well. So happy to have that. I'm looking forward to this game. I think this is going to be a fun little uh, dice, uh, press your luck kind of a game. It's more of a, a bit touted kind of more of a filler. It's about a 30-minute gameplay. Um, you play as kids going into a haunted house, and of course you've awoken something, so you have to venture into the house and try to dispel the curses that are upon you, and the player at the end of the game with the fewest curses in their hand, uh, when, um, fewest curses wins. So, let's uh, get into this. We have, you see here, um, we've got the limited edition sticker on here. There were, there was a regular edition and then the Kickstarter limited edition. The limited edition comes with additional limited edition curse cards that are not available in the retail box, uh, as well as a wooden first player token, and then some additional uh, curse type cards that are not in the regular edition. So here's the back. He's got a little page back there about it. Two to five. Uh, 10 minutes per player, so they're saying about 30 minutes. So it's got dice in here. The box itself turns into a dice tower. I love the art on the box, but um, the box itself turns into a dice tower, and then you've got six glow in the dark ghost die that you roll, and then you have to draft from those and then pick cards. I think it's going to be a lot of fun, and it's going to be right up my alley given my tastes in genre. So, as you all well know. So, here we go. All right, so that is. Oh, I thought that was a sheet. It's actually printed on, so that's that's nice. So now, all right, so you see that's how it opens. It slides down. It's got a little, I can feel a magnetic clasp in there. Even bones and a rat on top. So there you go. You can see the dice tower, the windows, and that kind of folds down in like that. Okay. So here are your different locations, basement, hallway, secret passage, uh, library, nursery, and attic. So you'll have meeples and you'll place meeples on the track given the rooms that you, know, you choose to play with for that particular game. Uh, the farther you go into the room or into the area, the higher choice of card you're going to get, but the more likelihood that you're gonna have to have uh, more ghosts. So, let's see here. Okay, there's a punch board token of ghosts. Different shapes, different faces. But all the same number. More punch card, different ghosts. Okay, here's the punch board first player token. That's the little planchette for a Ouija board. Okay, here's rule book. Oh, I, 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 okay, I apologize. I guess, uh, yes, it is a, I've been calling it a first player token because that's just a word I'm used to. They're actually using it as the active player token, not the first player token. So there's your Ouija board with your quick reference guide to the cursed cards. A little thematic thing for you. All right, so then you can pull this out. Whoop. So here are cards and meeples, and the dice, and this is the insert, so you can kind of see the insert for the dice to roll down, and then steps, and so, gel packets, do not eat this. When was the last time I bought a game thinking there might be something to eat in there? But, so then that would go back in the box, and now your dice tower is ready to go. So, why don't we just go ahead and jump to that, for fun, since we're talking about it. There ought to be six ghost die in here, and they ought to be glow in the dark. So the faces are inset. And as you can see, you've got multiple faces. One, two, three. And one, two, three. So three and three. So 
And let's give it a roll, shall we? And there they are. So, on first throw, they seems to work pretty well. All right. So, your player aids. <laughs> so, yeah. There's the back of them with your kind of player aid style. So like you can see here, like flashlight is ignore one ghost because you got to roll dose and ghosts or roll the die, draw ghosts. The further you go, the fewer flashlights you have. So the fewer ghosts you can ignore and all the, if your first choice, you have no flashlight at all. So you can't ignore a ghost. So there's that, move those to the side. Here are the Meeples and the planchette that was for the deluxe edition. So the wood version. And another gel packet. So you can see the, the meeples look like little kids with flashlights. And you've got green, yellow, purple, red. Whoop, red. I actually will grab a red this time. And white are your five different player colors. That was something that was unlocked was a fifth player. Uh, originally when they started the campaign, it was for four and then they unlocked the stretch bowl to make it five. And then, side. and then we'll take a look at the card. So you see, as it was sent to me, there are two decks. So probably the retail deck and then the limited edition deck here. Oh, maybe I can just use the little thing that they made to open it. So. Here's the limited edition deck. Maybe I should have done the other one first, but that's all right. So you've got your candle curse cards and your jack-o'-lantern, the raven, skull, and the witch's brew. Cards feel good. So I think, yeah, limited edition curse card. So here it tells you about Candles, jack lanterns Raven, Skull, and Witch's Brew. So that goes with those. And then here is the cards that will come in the retail set. Move those off to the side. So, Amulet, Cat, <laughs> Clock. Oh, now after uh, Stranger Things Season 4, that probably will see more play around the country with people playing with the clock. Evil Doll, Holy Water, Clown Mask, Mirror, Music Box, Portrait, Ring, A Tome, The Twin, <laughs> Pick your, pick your horror movie from each one, right? The Ring, The Shining, is that Leatherface, and Children of the Corn. So those are your cards, and the idea is that you will have to draw these, but then you're going to try to dispel them, and the player at the end, once you dispel them, you can flip them over. If you flip them over, they won't count against you, and the player with the fewest at the end of the game wins. So you will not play with all of the cards every game. Instead, you, you pick the ones that you're going to play with for a particular game. So that is what we have. So that's the limited edition of Don't Go In There. Um, I'm looking forward to getting this to the table. I've actually got a game game night this weekend with, with my group, and I'm going to plan to take this with me. So looking forward to it, and I hope if you've got any questions or any comments, feel free to drop them below. I appreciate you watching the video, and we'll see you next time.